Hi everyone, welcome to this bite-sized Steve UI tutorial video. In this video, we're going to learn about Steve UI bendable list element. Here, I have an app that shows inventory list. Currently, it shows the item name as well as the image. But let's say we're given a task to also add a text wheel and a stepper to update the name and quantity directly from the row here. So this looks pretty simple, but let's try to implement this. So here inside this h tag, let's delete this item.name text and declare a text field. For the label, let's pass name and here it accepts binding of string. So if we pass this item.name, it will throw an error actually in the compiler because this item is not a binding. So we can solve this actually using a proxy binding. So let's declare a binding of string and then initialize it with a custom getter and setter. For the getter, we just return item.name and for the setter, this is the new name that the user added the text field. So we need to find the index of the item inside this inventories array. So got let index inventories, we can use this first index and where the ID is equal with the item.id else if it can find it we just return so we get the index we can simply use inventories index and then name assign it with the new name okay let's try this this works actually but you can, as you can see there's a lot of code that we need to write manually and we also need to do that for the stepper and this is very hard to reason, right? So actually, on Xcode 13, there's a new way that we can use to pass a bendable list element. So inside this for each, currently I pass this array of inventories. New in Xcode 13, we can pass this as a binding. Okay. So this is a state. We can also pass a publish if we have a observable object. So we pass that as a binding here and then we grab the binding of the item here we need to also add the dollar in here okay so this will be the binding of the item and in here we can simply delete all of this code custom binding proxy and we can pass the item dot name as simple as that whenever the text field got updated in here it will update the item inside this inventories array and let's do the same for the stepper next let's show quantity let's put it in our fee stack quantity and show the actual item dot quantity and for the value we can pass item dot quantity and let's pass a range between 0 and 999 as the upper bound. Okay. So here the user can just update the quantity, update the name, and it will update this inventories array. Nice, right? Very, very simple. So let me show you where here I will show an example where we navigate using a navigation link to this inventory detail view that accepts a binding of item. And we have a text wheel as well as the steeper in here to update the value. So when the user goes back, it shall update the list with a new value. So let me remove this and just show item.name and quantity here. And put this inside a navigation link with the destination of inventory detail view here we access a binding of inventory which you can pass item okay because this is a binding now and for the label let's just put this h tag here let's try this so macbook pro with the quantity of one let me change this macbook pro 16 quantity let's put it into 10 let's go back as you can see it updates this list because we're passing a binding of the item directly. 
so it will when whenever whenever we change this it will update this inventory that's it for this bad size video and see you in the next one if you like this kind of format please like and subscribe to this video thank you